Signal surface extraordinary on-chain activity in real time. But what does that mean for you? As soon as you open app.nansen.ai as a paid user, you find interesting data points across all the chains that we support within Nansen. The range of signals we have are wide. And if you're unsure of what this type of signal is, you can just go to the eye here and that's called a tooltip and this will tell you what, what that signal is. So for DEX token flow, these are extraordinary flows in or out of a decentralized exchange. Often if you're seeing inflow for a token, that means that there is selling pressure. And if we see outflow, that implies buying activity. Here, we've got a smart money emoji here, which means there is smart money token flow. So we can see inflow and outflow here. And this is a really interesting signal here that we'll dive into a bit later on. And while we've seen a huge increase if this token being acquired by Smart Money, which is 269 times the recent average. That's a huge uh, outlier and something that we've just shown you as soon as you open up the app, which is pretty cool. We also have these uh, for you, so it doesn't have to uh, be for you by default, but what for you allows you to see is personalized signals based on your activity with the Nansen, whether these are tokens you have listed in your watch list, or just tokens that you're looking at within the app or certain behaviors. Uh, we try to show you signals that you will care more about. And there's a really cool thing that we do here. Is so if I go to the signals tab here on the side, you'll see likes and dislikes. If you like a signal, give it a like. If you dislike a signal, press dislike. And this means that we can show you the signals that really matter to you. And you can also use this to scroll through signals a lot easier. And as you saw earlier, we can select different chains. The signal that I'm going to look into is on base. So I'm going to pick up base. And in this hypothetical example, I'm really interested in understanding everything that's happening in the base ecosystem because I'm rather bullish on it. I'm not going to select any types, but you could do if you wanted to. And so I said I'd run through this example here where we saw that Smart Money has received a huge amount of error, which is 269 times the recent average. I don't know what this token is, so I can click here and learn a bit more about it. I can also go to the pages token gold mode page. So just by clicking arrow, I can find everything I need to know about this token. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to read more and it tells me all I need to know about the token. I get a good understanding of this. And there's also links to learn a bit more. You can also click here for more. And this will tell you the fully diluted valuation of a token, the market cap, and a bunch of different information, which is super useful in analyzing a token. But we know the signal triggered here was related to smart money. So let's go to the smart money tab here. And we're going to scroll down, sort by change in the last 24 hours. And we can see that the reason for this change is driven by Coinbase. So let's right click and go to wallet profile for token and see what is going on. So we can see there was inflow, there was some outflow, there was some more outflow, and there was some more inflow. And so we can see that there was funds coming in. It looks like they deposited it with an aerodrome to lock, and they also received some more funds from another address here. And as you can see here, is when I've hovered over this address, there's been some highlights so you can see all the ad that address throughout again, so it makes it a bit easier to scan. So we can go click on this address here, and then we can also go to wallet profile of the token here to see what this wallet's address relations to with Aerodrome. And then we can start doing our research and start seeing what's going on. And what we see here is that they receive tokens from this definitive trading vault. And so this trading vault is where they did the buying. And we can see that buying activity here. If I just change it here to time. And you can see they were making buys gradually over various different dates in the past month or two to acquire these tokens. Then they moved them to one address and then to another address. So now I know from this signal, Coinbase is acquiring this token and that likely implies that they're interested in this um, token. So that told you exactly what you need to know about that signal. And you can repeat this finding on the signal that you see. I hope that tells you everything you need to know about signals and gives you a good overview of how they work. Again, if you're unsure of what a signal is, go to the tool tip to learn a bit more about it. And if you have any questions about them, please reach out to us at support at Nansen.ai. Leave a comment here or 
you can just reach out to us on our socials and we'd be happy to help you out. All right, all the best. Bye-bye.